Hey everybody and welcome in to another All Quiet on the Western Front reaction video. Stephen, it is 4 of 4, the final part. We're into the last 20 minutes of this absolutely epic war movie. Yes. We will be giving more thoughts at the end. No yes, one we will, will probably yeah. stick around for it, but we will be doing a short review and rating it. Mm. But needless to say, Stephen, just brutal journey for Paul, who's yeah. sort of protagonist in this. Paul Bauer, I think. John the nice. actor. Uh, we've not mentioned the actor at all, have we? No, um, we haven't. He's been outstanding. He's been phenomenal. Um, he he has to be up for something, surely. I actually don't know if he is up for an Academy Award. No, I know the I'm movie's very, up for yeah. nine. Yeah. But if he's not up for something, then yeah, it's a stacked category. Or yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, I mean that's a, it's, it's a, it'll be a strong it'll be a strong category, no doubt. But um, he, I've been very impressed with this lad. Fantastic just from start to finish. Sort of physical transformation as yeah. well, Steve. You mentioned me it. Mental growth as well. It's been yeah, fantastic. Well Sensed well. every bit of it, you know, um, from obviously just being that wide eyed boy, you know, joining the army. Thinking it was all that romantic thing with the, the nice uniform and the the, the the lovely rifle and all that, you know, just in awe of it all. Used uniform. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just totally naive. John, that label scene kind of summed it up where those kids were. At that point in their lives, that you could just tell them anything and they believe it. You know yeah. that's basically what happened. But um, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of eye-opening moments in this film for I think both of us as well. It's interesting to see it from a perspective from the other side, if you like. Us being from the UK, we look at it from the other side. But um, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, John, and uh, some great character studies in there as well. Yeah. Um, Phenomenal, very small cast as well. That's something we've not mentioned. There's about three, four, five. Yeah, primary players. Yeah. If you'd like. and then you maybe get another five out with that. Your uh, Daniel Brun, yeah, etc. And all those kind of guys, you know. But apart from that, we've stuck with the same sort of five. Well, well he's not been nominated for best actor. He's no. also it's Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell, yeah. Brendan Fraser, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. <laughs> the top of my head, I literally just read it, but uh, yeah, he's not been. Yeah. Paul Farrell, Brendan uh, Fraser, Austin Butler, Bill Nye, and Paul Mescal. So it's just, I mean, Paul Mescal apparently very good in After yeah. Sun. It's a strong, it's a strong category. Strong category, yeah. so we'll not hold it against him too much. But I've this feeling guy Austin Butler's going to win it. I th do you think so? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't I, deny him it. It's for another conversation, I suppose. But yeah. I, if I if I would pick anyone, Brendan would probably be the one I would like to see win it. But this guy deserved an nomination. Yeah, I think he did, Not yeah. this guy I'm pointing out just now. No, not the one having the piss, no. No. Little Paul. Little Paul, yes. He may be very tall, but he's just little Paul to me. Shall we press play, Stephen? Yes, why not? Play. This guy better not die, man. Having a piss, or I will be most yeah. displeased. That will that affect cold? the rating. Is that cold? He's got to snap the piss off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> trees again. That seems to be the trademark of this director. What a shot that is, by the way. Of him standing there. He's seeing something here. Holy fuck, something's going to happen here. I don't like this shot, man. No. That's something creeping up me, isn't it, shot? He puts me in mind of Paddy Constantine. What's that like? No way, this little fucking pricks. Killing him, man. No chance. Get to fuck. That's a disgrace if he's died to that little fool. Again, the symbolism is there. It's a new generation just repeating it. Violence. Cut. You little bastard. So he stole an egg, get over it. Cut. Oh, is he kill him? I hope so. Oh wow, shit. <laughs> I just call him a little shit. Mmm, <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> That's not a good spot to be shot, mate. No. 
Right in the guts. No. After all this guy's been through, he gets shot off that little prick. That's despicable. But again, Steve. Oh, it's a message, isn't it? Yeah. Little boys are little bastards. <laughs> it's a repeat the cycle. New mm. generation just repeats the violence. When are we going to get out of this cycle of violence? Never. Look at state of America. I know. There's more guns in America than there's people. The fucking state of here. Mm. People getting shot and stabbed every day. Constant. Is that drum again? On your I hope feet, this guy survives, man. I like him, John. Very likable character. <laughs> Trees again. What's wrong these guys? I'll just fucking... Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. On on your feet. Sits on his fat arse, this guy. Yeah. Smoking, drinking, eating. Man's a prick. No water again, do you? Oh, there is. That was my bedpan. Yeah. <laughs> I would genuinely go back to that house and kill that little fucking uh -huh. pastor. I would, I would kill them all. I mean, that, that little guy's purposely went out there looking for them. Yeah. For stealing a couple of eggs. I'd burn it to the fucking ground. That's the type of person I am. If you've been through that journey with those group of people and you're that close to the end and something like that happens for stealing a fucking egg. This boy's been through hell, I'm telling you. Absolute hell. Little Beetle. It's a fact he's got no one. He's got no one to console him or talk to or anything. For what? Going back to what? Yeah, that's... Uh That's the thing, isn't it? What are you getting back to? Silly ginger. Still march into that baldy, guys. What? What? Who's that guy think he is? He's a clown. Wir 
Wir stehen hier als Brüder in einer Welt von Feinden und müssen zusehen, wie deutsche Sozialdemokraten unser geliebtes Volk wehrlos machen durch die Annahme eines perfiden Waffenstillstands. Für sie geht es bald heim zu Eltern, Frau und Kindern. Der wird way too clean compared to him. Ja. Yeah. Nach Jahren der Opfer und Leiden sehen sie nun ihrem Lohn entgegen. Dem Lohn der Bewunderung für alles, was sie hier geleistet haben. Das ist ein Fang, der Aber, Kameraden, wollt ihr als Soldaten und Helden empfangen werden? Oder als Feiglinge, die den Schwanz einzogen, als es wirklich drauf ankam? Soldaten, wir I know I'd be doing that gun. mit all unserer yeah, Herzen und Gewalt. Shut up, yeah, prick. Das hier gehört in deutsche Hand. Wir erobern die Ebene noch vor 11 Uhr und beenden diesen Krieg mit einem Sieg. Vorwärts mit Gott, der mit uns sein wird, wie er es schon mit unseren Vätern war. These guys are no one up. That's it, that's, that's war, that's yeah. what it's all about. You're just a, you're an entity. The dog's not even flinching, the no. gunshots. You hear that, Harley? <laughs> <laughs> so those ones that were rebelling there get shot? Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't be doing it, I'd just be hiding. I would just wander off, I'd yeah. go, ah, fuck you, I'm heading okay, for the hills. We're going back to the battlefield. There's some bold I'm going back twats. to that farmer's house, kill them all. And Get rid of their bodies, then I'll live in their house. With the chickens. What is that? That's symbolism, isn't it? Yeah. Like a church. Yeah. Quarter to eleven. Wait, wait. No, fifteen minutes. Why would you be there? It's the first time I've fought to the other side. Yeah. Fucking hell. It's better for him. Ouf, con, il y en est pour la fin. On n'aura plus besoin. Merci, mon commandant. À la vôtre. Et à le pèvre. C'est l'inspecteur Clouseau, ce gars Oui. Mais on, c'est bon. Fin du cauchemar. Non, c'est pas ici. Non, oui, c'est pas. Je vais venir pour vous. This is so pointless. It is pointless, but Steen, I think that's a message just to show you the just the pointlessness of everything. Take a few steps back, Paul. Let it, let them gun. They want to do it, let them do it. The insidiousness of the leaders. That's a shot. That's some shot, man. Mm -hmm. Wow. These guys think they're that's it. We're done. He must hear the footsteps. Yeah. How come no Dales can hear it? I think he's going to die here. Paul. Think so? Yeah. He's got nothing left, dude. I don't know. Good boss. A shot. No. It's getting close, isn't it? Oh, 
Oof. Oh my god, that is fucking barbaric. Well, those effects were impressive though. Yeah. It's, it's a They're never going to do anything here. Like, this luck's not going to last forever. I don't know how this fella's getting the energy for this. I oh, know. Shows you the development of him though. Yeah. Just that little ginger kid was, not it? Right, little guy that just I got know. your ass saved you? twice, where the fuck are you? Oh, are you kidding me? That's a fucking joke way. Yes, man. Crack. Throw the rock at him. Holy shit. Just for one moment there, I thought that guy was thinking I can't kill this kid. And that guy behind him has just done it. I don't think he was honestly going to do yeah. it now. I knew that. I knew it was going to happen. I blame that baldy bastard. Yeah, it's his own stupidity for following his fucking orders. I would not have done it. I would have fucked off. I would have just took my time up to 11 o'clock. Yeah, I would have stayed back when they were all charged. That's just me though. I'm a coward. Not about cowardness, Stephen. It's about common sense. If the war ain't going to be won in 15 minutes no. after it's been, fight, been fought for it five years. It was all years, about... Uh, Three years. It was all about image there and perception, wasn't it? Yeah. Don't be seen as a coward. Okay, I'll be seen yeah. as dead. Exactly. I'd rather be a coward than be dead. Piercing blue eyes. That is a score, man, tell you. He just wants to see peace, doesn't he? Yeah. That's Albert's, isn't it? Yeah. Give his head. Getting done in. I want his head in a platter. The guys like that always survive. I want his dog to eat him alive. It just seems like a better old man. Yeah, but he's a soldier, so That's why didn't he A soldier didn't have charge? a war, wasn't it? Yeah. That's what he said, really. Why is he not leading the charge? Yeah. If you're a soldier. Walk the walk, mate. I was too busy holding my coffee. Yeah, is that, yeah. <laughs> Daryl. Sind's in Ordnung, Soldat? Ja. Na dann. Einsammeln, bitte. It's your turn, mate. Collect those tags, then they collect the bodies, strip them, yeah, well recycle the clothes, it. bury the bodies. All begins again. Well, not now, obviously, but that was the process, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. 
But again, the symbolism is he did that when he came in at the war. Yeah. Here's another young fellas. kid that's yeah. doing it again. Oh, it's about 12, this boy. You mentioned that John, though, you know, the character of Paul was there to take us through the story. Yeah. The story had reached its end. Yeah. And he had nothing. That's a boy that saved you. That's some shot. Yeah. It's like the opening shot, isn't it? Yeah. Back to where we were. Looks like the skies are clearing now, though. Yeah, to me, Stephen, I don't know about you, but that represents the world just going on. Yeah. It's all pointless. Another day. Pointless. All that box. Nothing's changed. That's crazy, isn't it? Three million people. Yeah. That's the reality of it though, isn't it? 17 million people lost their lives. <sighs> crazy. Humans are crazy, I'm telling you. Yeah, and we're still crazy, Stephen, yeah, because we're, we're still doing it. We're never still learn. doing the same fucking insanity, even now. And I think that's the key message here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's an anti-war film. It's, it's, it's depicting yeah. war, but it's anti-war. Yeah. Because it's showing you, just like that great poem I keep going on about, it's one of my favourites, Wilfred Owen, Dolce Ek Decora Mess, because it just speaks about the realities of war. And it says at the end, for all those people, pretty much who want to glorify war, who have not lived it, yep. you're perpetuating this fantasy about the the honour of dying for one's country. Yeah. It's bullshit. The whole thing's bullshit. Because there is no honour. <laughs> oh, that's John, and, and you know... Um, the sad reality is that there was never going to be a happy ending because films no. like this and the subject don't have happy endings. I'm no, afraid I think that's that's, yeah. that's not the way the world works, and that's not the way war works either. Um, we've seen countless war films from the sixties and the seventies that portray these heroics, and you know everyone's a winner at the end, if you like. But that's it's not the case in reality, you know. And I think what these filmmakers have done uh, with this film has been phenomenal from an emotional level. A um, the way these characters have been written and the way that us as an audience member have connected with these characters. Now you've got to remember we're from the UK and we're looking at it from the perspective of our enemy, if you like, you know, a hundred years ago. Um, and it shows the, the sort of evolution, I think, in, in, in people as well in terms of uh, um, decent people I'm talking about, you know, that they can see through the bullshit mm. on both sides from the bureaucrats and the politicians you know, and it's just a shame that there isn't more people out there that don't buy into that sort of reality of war is good and and war. There's a lot to gain from war. There's there's the nothing to gain. gain is for the one percent. Yeah. Who gain off the arms trading? Yeah. And sort of resourcing resources grabs. But a well, more. But a well told story, John. Um, Steen, now, Steen, you mentioned that uh, the foreign language a different perspective. I think that's important because yeah. it shows you that it doesn't matter whether you're American, German, French, British. Australian, Russian, whatever. Russian, yeah. 
it's the same themes, it's the same That's story it. getting told, yeah. it's the same bureaucracy, the same sort of upper classes sending young working class people out of their deaths. That's something that's repeated again and again and again, that, regardless of the country. I felt that the most most of the parts that I, I that I kind of connected with, and I thought they did really well, was the sort of standoff moments between two oppositions, mm-hmm. two you know, uh, two enemies. I thought it was very intelligent, Stephen, at the end to go to the French side. Yeah. For just a brief moment. Yeah. And you're seeing that same it's thing. Exactly the same Relief. thing. Relief. The only difference is it's a uniform. Yeah. The it's celebrate. The so that was yeah. quite intelligent. Yeah. Just right at the end to show you a different perspective. The one thing it does wind me up is a little guy killing your man. Boy, yeah. yeah, yeah, that really did wind me up. Yeah. That, that angered me. I don't, I I don't, don't know, know why. I don't know what the message was other than <laughs> don't steal. Yeah, I think the yeah. message was just again. It's just a, a new generation, young kid, buying into violence. Yeah, and think that's the way to solve problems, and it isn't. Not seeing another human being in front of him. It's just do- indoctrinated. Well, John, you, you mentioned that, but in a those last in those movie. last moments when. Um, Paul was in that trench with that fella that he was stabbing to bits. So saw that in him. He yeah. saw that you're just a man, you're just a, a husband, a father, a son, you know. And and you see it at the end as well. You see that French soldier. He could have just pulled the trigger yeah. on Paul, and he didn't. And but I thought, you also sees the guy coming from behind and yeah. just relentlessly killing him. Yeah. And cut the carving through. So it just repeats the cycle, repeats again, yeah. and again, and again. You have moments of known. Yeah. Sort of. I don't know. Respite, but then someone else will come in and do it. I thought they executed those scenes very well. Yeah, Steve, you know? a very, very well written works, movie. You know? Very well yeah. written movie, man. The themes explored, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I want to read the book now yeah. that it's based on. Because that's, that's something that everybody should watch, a movie like that. It's important even today, because yeah. we're repeating the same madness. Did you just hit home the realities of war? I mean, it was over 100 years ago, and we're still doing it. Yeah. So it's an important message. I keep, I think I've kept repeating that throughout the whole watch along to convey to a new generation. I think hopefully we'll get there at some point <laughs> and stop repeating this same fucking nonsense. But a really, really good movie. I enjoyed it, man. Yeah. That's one of the best war movies I've seen in a long time. The score was up and down for me. On a technical level, the cinematography has been nominated for an Oscar. I can see why. Yeah, Stunning. fantastic. Yeah. Even that lingering shot at the end of Paul was superb. It was. I, I often wonder how they do that, John. If it's if it's a a, a body double or is it a still shot, how did how did they do that? I think it's maybe just yeah. what, I don't know temporary like glue or whatever for the yeah. eyes. Maybe just his eyes or pulse and everything. No, you know nothing's. Yeah. You know, I yeah. don't know. I don't know how they do it, but it's fantastic. But cinematically, man, on a technical level, yeah. brilliant. John, I thought the score, and I, I the did score was really it, good in parts. I slated it at the very beginning because it was a kind of more of a slow burn and uh, building up to uh, w- what we got. Um, uh, in the end, though, it was a phenomenal score. I get what they were doing, Steve. Yeah. The sort of <laughs> that represents the sort of. You kind of get used to it. It's like, uh, the more they use, utilize it, John. I can see what they're doing. Though the humanity and the softer moments, and then that's the sort of inhumanity of war. Da, 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 it's relentless. The coffins yeah. and the marching in when it's needless. I, I see what they're doing with it. I just. But you saw this cycle, um, th- yeah, maybe again, again, two again. or three times. You know, it's just, um, you know, the way that humans are just disposed of in in war. You know, and um, we'll use their their clothes again. We'll bury them. And then we'll move on to the next batch. Yeah. But that's, 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 that's what happens, you know. Really, really brilliant performance from your leading man, though, that played Paul. Some really good performances yeah. across the board. Daniel Brill underutilised in this. Yeah. But when he was in it, very good. Just that little moment my son died in this war. Yeah. That tells you he knows the score. Yep. He wants it to end because he's lived it. Yep. He's, and also your bald headed, mustachioed guy, just a fantasist. Living off his father's past glories. Yeah. A deeply frustrated little man. Yeah, bitter. Very bitter. Bitter man. Yeah. Sort of pang. pang what, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Longing for a war that he would never have fought in because he's a coward himself. Not walking the walk. Yeah, another one that thinks war's romantic and glorious. Steve, uh, again, that's a, ne- a necessity and it's not. He's representing yeah. people even today who like you glorifying war who yeah. would never fight in the war themselves whereas the reality on the ground is a completely different story it's, it's e- really intelligent it's way, easier though. to be peaceful it really is it easy is. Yeah. Yeah. I, d- I don't understand humans at times I really don't I'm very naive that way <laughs> yes but Stephen brilliant performances yeah. um, I really enjoyed the movie we're going to rate it 
We are John, yeah. I am, um, and I'm aware that I rated, I think, Everything Everywhere all at once at a nine. Yeah. Is this better than that? It's a different kind it's of a movie. Different, it's a different kind of movie, John. So you, can't, still, don't, re- don't, you can't really compare it, because that is different. You're talking about, you've got to take into, obviously, acting, production and all that kind of thing. Right, it's a nine for me. So it's it's a, a, it's a, I've got to read it a nine. It's, I really it's, enjoyed it's it. It's anywhere between a nine and nine point five for me, John. I mean, yeah. I could do a Gianni and maybe say about a nine point two. Yeah. Um, for this, I, I would. I would disagree. Because I think you know it's the it, message. It's powerful. Yeah. And I knew it was going to be a good film, John. You and I both love the genre, mm-hmm. um, but it's how it's executed and how it's um, it gets the message across. And I think they've nailed it. I, yeah. I don't think there was a moment in there that you know, as a as a German speaking film, we we did not misinterpret you know no no I agree with you Steve it's in that range for sure yeah. really really good movie can understand why it's getting nine nominations at the Academy yeah. Awards a really really good movie and hats off to Netflix for yeah if indeed they did green light it for green lighting it because it's something that needs to be told yeah well done though That's well it. done well and dusted yeah what is your thoughts on All Quiet in the Western Front how would you have rated it on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being the best 1 being the worst if you've rated it a 1 you do not belong in this channel so leave now, bitch. Or I will come after you like that little farm boy did. <laughs> <laughs> hate that little bastard. Yeah. Fucking hate him. He's the worst in a, a film littered with arseholes and war and violence. He is the worst character in the entire movie. He's haircut shit. He's shit. I hope you walked in a mine walking back. <laughs> little bastard. <laughs> What's your thoughts? So you can share your thoughts down below in this movie. On our reaction, anything you feel compelled to share can go down below in the comments section. What else have I got to say? Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to get notifications straight to your eyeballs. That's the most important thing you can do if you've enjoyed this. Watch along, we'll be doing more. And all that's left to say is thank you to watching the reactions if you have watched them. If you haven't, we're talking to nobody. And that would be mm. bad. All that's left to say is until the next time, me and Stephen are done.